Hey, Danny, there's some guys over here. They don't have passes. Okay. They probably bought day passes, I think. Oh, no. They they wear uniforms, though. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those guys, yeah, they don't have passes. Maybe we can't ask them to leave or anything, can we? No, they're just trying to make sure everybody's complying. They had the raid yesterday, and they want to uh, they want to make sure we're not being flagrant with anything and well within our limits of five grams per person and uh, nobody with more than 500 grams, I think, in a vending area. They seem to be, you know, not nearly as uh, agitated as yesterday, so. How many were here yesterday? Uh, it, by my count, definitely more than 75, 80, you know. Wow. I stopped counting when I saw, you know, more than 50 of them coming in, and they secured everything and, and basically stopped us from uh, having the event at that point. They searched everybody on their way out. They kept the vendors in their stalls and then searched the boots as well, and uh, oddly enough, left plenty of uh, things behind. Um, I think they're, you know, just sending a message that uh, they... They, they'll tolerate only a certain amount, and then once we uh, keep pushing and pushing, they, they'll push back. So uh, we need people to keep pushing, basically, in my opinion. We gotta just uh, keep asking for more until we get full end of marijuana prohibition, completely not medical, not anything, but just the end of prohibition of, me of marijuana, just like the end of alcohol prohibition or any other prohibition. We just want it to end. Um, and so that's, I'm not going to stop until we have that personally. And I know so many other people in the movement that are just going to keep pushing. And all we need is the other people, the smokers, the connoisseurs, the aficionados, the growers, um, the dispensary owners, the doctors, all the professionals. We need everybody to just stand up and say enough. You know, just like with the Occupy Wall Street or just like any other form of civil disobedience and protest, enough. We've had enough. We want our civil rights. We want our right to smoke cannabis in any way we choose, whether it be medical, spiritual, recreational, whatever way you think is, is good. If it makes you feel good, do it. And, uh, you know, if it doesn't hurt anyone else, it's perfectly fine with us. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, me. Uh, you're thanks, awesome, Raymo. man. Thank you, Remo. Thanks, thanks for, for everything talking with you us. do, too, because uh, your YouTube videos and the stuff that you do, uh, you know, with the magazines and, and with everything is just awesome. And you're spreading important knowledge that's changing everything for people, getting better herb out to, to people, and that's great. You know? Wicked. Right on. Well, have a, a great Cannabis Cup. Thanks. I'll see you in, uh, in BC and in Vancouver and hopefully sometime soon. Definitely. Come on down. Right on. Daddy Danko, High Times Magazine, folks. Yeah, thanks.